Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, and if you're new here, I'm Montana. I film my daily life, all things fashion and business. I'm trying to get these letters all fixed up for to sell because I want something like cheaper for people to buy too because not everyone's gonna like want a bag and then there might be some people who want to support me and just like small things are normally pretty good so I'm trying to get these letter keychains all figured out I've got A and B done right now I started with like this and yeah I know it looks not the best I don't know how to get it to stop fraying so I tried to put like the name to it and then I accidentally burnt it so not doing that and then I I don't know so I tried it again and it looks a little better how I did it I'm not sure but then I also tried doing like a zigzag stitch if I had like an overlock machine it probably would be better but I don't so I did like a zigzag I also put flames to it again so I burnt it a little bit but it's like I would stuff it more than this but it's messy and I think I actually kind of like it although this is kind of a preference there's probably people who don't like stuff like this it probably would look like like more sub sub subtle subtle um, when there is scrap fabric like actually sewn on it and it would be like less messy this looks like there's two colors on my machine right now so but I don't know, there's something like spunky. The plan today is to see if most of these letters are good. I think some of them definitely are not. And I was also making it so I could also try to do the 3D type of letters. And I am not doing that. I realize that's going to take me like so much more time. Even if I like practice and learn how to do it. And I just want something that's like easy to make. And then like obviously if it's easier to make it's a little bit more cheaper. So I think something like this might be nice. I don't know, I will play with it obviously with like the scrap fabric actually on it. But I don't know, that's my plan right now. It's like, what time is it? It is 1 o'clock, which is good because I thought I was going to be like still working on these tomorrow, but I have them all finished. All the letters look good other than like a few that are too big. So like the C, I mean, it's kind of wonky looking anyways. This G, it just looked weird. <laughs> and then like... W and M. This is exciting. I want this like out pretty soon because I don't know. I feel like this is like something good to have on the site. Letters. I definitely won't waste these letters. Don't worry. I'll probably use these for scraps as well for like stuffing in to these. But I just need to obviously check to see if these letters are okay to use because I don't want to like be giving people things that are not. Also, is this U weird or is it like okay? I didn't really like the normal U, so I kind of made it a little chubby, but.
is Wednesday and I'm just starting my morning, well I started my morning reading, but <laughs> I'm starting my morning basically fixing these letters, so mainly it was just making them smaller because they were like kind of obnoxiously too big. This is what they looked like before, here I'll put them together. You know the M and the W are kind of so much alike that it confuses me. Anyways, this is what the M looked like before. So it looks like now. They're a little messy, of course, because I'm not really taking my time on it. I just want to mainly see if the size is appropriate, but I don't know. Here's... I guess it's not much smaller, actually. If it even is any smaller now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, now that I look at it, it's not much smaller, which is kind of annoying. Let's put it against, like, a smaller letter then. Like, I know M and W are going to be fairly big because they take up more space than, like, other letters. But that one not that much bigger. I guess this is what it looks like beside a K. So, it's not... It's not bad, but it's not great, I guess. I think the W has quite a difference because the W is quite big. I know now she's skinny, though, but... Uh, let's put her together. Oh yeah, the W is much different. She's taller though, but she's less wide. And then here's the old C and then the new C. I really just made the C just smaller, I think. Uh, mm, no, not really. I think I just like changed the shape a little bit. Oh, yeah, I didn't really like this and then I rounded it better. I meant to pattern shapes also when I was fixing those letters, but I forgot. So I think I will quickly do those up now. Shouldn't take me that long and then sew them up. did a star and then they did like the nice little round stars you know the Care Bear kind of star vibes yeah anyways I love those stars but I have a star I have a flower I kind of sewed it very messily but I know it works it's fine and then a heart and I actually stuffed this one so you guys can kind of like get the vibe I think it would be stuffed a little bit more but I ran out of like fabric it would be stuffed with scrap fabric which also helps using up scrap fabric so that's pretty neat but yeah I made a heart as well. And then, yeah. So I have all of my keychain patterns all figured out, all good. And really all I have to do is just sew a couple that are actually like made how I want them to be made. And then advertise them, I guess. I'm not gonna do that today. I think I might start that tomorrow. But I really think these are a great idea for my business, just to have something little because, I mean, they don't take that long to make. So I would assume it would be relatively cheap, no higher than 10 bucks. Probably lower than 10 bucks, obviously, but something little that people can buy and then I you know I could always add an attachment kind of to the bags and it could be like a percentage off kind of vibe I've been listening to my videos and I constantly say vibe and I'm not sure only issue I have is packing stuff because I do have the boxes only and I do want to buy poly mailers eventually. I mean, at this moment, I'm kind of just winging everything and just seeing how it goes. I'm very passionate about this business and I think I can actually do pretty good with this business stuff. And this is just something I want to do for a long time, for as long as I want. Like this, I don't know. This is. Anyways, I'm going to clean up my mess and actually I, I want to fix up a shirt which I won't even be able to wear until it gets like 
colder just because it's hot although the temperature has dropped so that's nice but there is a sweater I want to fix up and I guess I'll just bring you guys along while I do that it shouldn't take me that long and let's get this started all right so this is the shirt and I think it's cute how it is and I think it's like super fun my mom was going to sell it but there's a hole in the arm which right there if you can see I'm just gonna fix that don't even worry about it but it is cute how it is but I think it's just very and I think I kinda I don't know if I'm gonna tighten it but I maybe bring it in and then like put some channels on the side so you can like ruche it up like this that's what I think I'm gonna do just to give it a little bit more fitting and I don't know just look nicer I guess first I'm gonna fix this like big hole you probably can't see it because this is dark fabric I'm gonna fix this hole in the sleeve because I think that's probably one thing that will let the hole like allowed a shirt to look more nicer and not ripped and damaged. <laughs> t-shirt I had for years that was already cut up. It was just a nice scrap pile. But that's what it looks like. It's honestly such an easy way to like revamp something. Like make a shirt have like a little bit more and just add a channel in it and then uh and ruche it up. That's how you do it. And then I also fix the hole. I don't know if it really there's like thread all over me now but it's not like done that well but you know what? There's no hole, so I'm, you know, that's, that's what's the main goal. But I, I love it. And once it gets a little bit colder, I'll definitely be wearing it. It is now Thursday, and I plan on getting those uh, keychains. Like, I'm not going to make them all, obviously, but I'm going to make a few so I can advertise them for later. I will eventually make all of them so I can obviously have, like, them all photographed. So, like, you know, you don't want someone buying a letter that they get and then they think it's ugly because you know different font. I have like all of my scrap fabric on my floor and I am not organizing it that well which I don't know if you've seen in like prior videos but like yeah I literally just have them in like garbage bags um plastic bags that I've had for years and they're all like falling apart because they're, they've been reused and reused. I am going to use those like on my scrap fabric of course to make these 
um, keychains, and I'm just gonna be embroidering them today, and then dissolving the salvia off of them, and then tomorrow I'll actually be physically sewing them. Which means nearly finished getting the keychains finished, which means I need packaging for that because obviously I'm not shipping them out in these big boxes. So before I start anything, I'm actually going to be buying some little boxes. That would be the best for this. They're going to be six by four, I believe, and like two inches high, which I think is a good size. It might be like a little big, but I assume like, who knows, maybe people are buying more than one or eventually I'll have like another accessory. I just think overall that's probably the best option. I am buying these like shipping products off of No Issue, which is the site like I was talking about last time. It did not show up on any of my pages and I didn't like, I knew about Eco and Clothes and I can't really get anything off of there because their shipping is like horrendous to ship to me. But No Issue, their shipping would be free. Hopefully, I guess. We'll see. I could have like another mistake where I accidentally buy it in US dollars again, but we'll see. Their shipping is free and I'm going to, once I get rid of like, like use up these boxes, I'm going to buy poly mailers for my bags instead. Hopefully that'll be like a little bit cheaper, like for shipping, but I'm not entirely sure. Of course, I still have these boxes that I'm not even selling anything right now. So it'll be a little bit of a time, but right now I'm going to buy these boxes for the keychains. I am not selling anything and I, I keep saying this but I just really want to remind anyone who is thinking about starting a business that like you don't know how your business is gonna start and until it actually starts selling stuff you're actually seeing gain from it don't buy a lot of stuff like you don't want to waste your money on something that might not work out So I've got all of the letters embroidered. Now I'm just going to dissolve the salvi and I don't know, wait for tomorrow for them to be dry. Um, I'm going to give you all a sneak peek of what the design looks like. You won't really fully like see it really until like the salvi is off because I don't know, the salvi makes it look like it has a different appearance, but I don't know, it's so exciting. But we got an H. This is for my boyfriend. I kind of made it like camel -y. The main fabric is like this, I guess, but a star, an M, but it looks like a square right now, a Y, A, D, A again, R, and an O. So I'm just going to dissolve those and wait until tomorrow to sew them. <laughs> Good day. It is Friday. I went to a concert last night and I got no footage of it because I don't know, I was busy living my life and just some things don't need to be filmed. I went to the Snotty Nose Res Kids concert and I loved it. It was such a good experience. I am super tired, honestly. <laughs> Um, mainly because obviously I went to pretty late. I didn't get home until like almost one, I assume. I, I, I suppose. <laughs> I, well, I didn't actually come home. I went back to my boyfriend's place and slept there and then had a really poopy sleep. And then I was debating on coming home and then just sleeping for another couple hours. But my, my chair is my bed and it wasn't folded down so I just didn't want to go through that effort. I'll probably end up going to bed early tonight though. Also I sold my first bag. 
it's not to like a random person I don't know though it's to one of my friends which thank you so much Kira I love you so much I did get her to buy it off of my site though just merely because I want that sale on there I want people to know I'm like legit and then hopefully Kira gives me a review but I did take the shipping off of course because I'll just hand it to her when I see her at some point maybe put in a fancy bag I don't think I'm gonna use the boxes because I don't know but I'll put in a bag still wrap it up and make it pretty for her I am gonna make her like a keychain though because you know you still pay fees when you're buying it off a website and I don't know she's my friend I love her and she deserves a keychain <laughs> she probably deserves more but you know I can only give her a keychain right now but she is buying the uh, flower bag here's a little photo it was very popular on my website like for having it in people's carts like there's six people had it in their carts which I was very surprised about so that's interesting but it was a very nice bag and I do like this one so I'm glad it's going to a really beautiful person a beautiful person deserves a beautiful bag Thank you.